oh, there's some people that need to see what's really going on here. And we need to actually, I guess, be louder. Because some people really don't know. And I guess I shouldn't have assumed that they did because that was ignorant of me. So let me go get Let me tell everybody I'm an American first. I firmly believe in our foundation. But this is the truth of what's going on. And I'm not going to mention who, which police department that was. The department has done in the last four, de four years. Um, and this is a letter I wrote to the chief. Going forward. Enclosed is an itemized summary of some events, some events strictly relating to XPD department. I know why my residence was flagged. The harm they have and will continue to do to all of us is a multi-agency impact and thus will take equal to resolve. Unfortunately, all I want is the barriers removed that are preventing my kids from having their family as it existed before January 20th, 2017. Events. Ex-wife went to police department in December of 2016 to confess about taking property from the decedent's home, the decedent's home, and was told to take it back to the residence. Long story short, that was illegal. Not sure if a report exists for that. And then I said my neighbor across the way called the police. And this was when my boyfriend, the heir, came to look at the house for the first time after everybody passed away. And then later he called to let the police department know because of that incident that he intended to occupy and to enter the home. Um, and they responded, get to know your neighbors. So he stops calling. My neighbors. Um, and then, after the January 20th event, truck seizure and assist. Civil disagreement of claim to repossess my old Cadillac EXT. The truck was parked in our driveway and I refused to get out of it. And it's because there was a debt pending only because I was waiting for my equity from the home I sold in Sacramento that was being held from me because of CPS and their lies. And that's the only reason I owed that money for that truck. So anyways, I used that loan to move here. And the police officer threatened physical remover from my truck. He basically yelled at me and said he was going to break my window and pull me out if I didn't get out of the truck because I wasn't going to allow them to tow it. It was a civil dispute. <laughs> and even the tow truck hitched to the truck while I was in it, which I know is illegal. And there was no judge signature on the tow truck paperwork. And I put some of it on YouTube. It was horrible. They had no right, and it was on my property, no warrant, no just signature, and this police officer just took it upon himself to get into my civil dispute with a loan in which I was in communication with the people. Sorry. <laughs> I have to do this stuff outside. I can't stand being inside, even though it is hot. Um, then the police department picked up my boyfriend on a two-year-old traffic ticket for a warrant on the same day as child welfare court. Okay, and then I had a neighbor who has since passed, God rest her soul. She told me that there was a female driving the decedent's vehicle before we got here, and she didn't know who she was, but had been told by a police officer down the street to bring it back, which is odd, because we still didn't have a key. We didn't have a key for the car. Don't know what happened to that either, or IDs. Home invasion. Shortly after they took my daughter, there was a home invasion in the middle of the night. We were asleep, and the two burglar the burglars returned because they sold the car keys, and try it. We heard the 
we ran outside, me and my boyfriend, after hearing the car start. The person then tried to run us over. The police department was then called when vehicle was found abandoned at the park down the street immediately after. The female officer refused to investigate the noise coming from the bushes about 100 feet from the car at the park. In 2018, Ms. Peterson's van ran out of gas at the park. The vehicle had a day pass on it because I couldn't pass smog with it. I had just bought it and was selling it again and was backed into a spot at the north end of the park. When Ms. Peterson walked to get gas, her van was towed. False claim of being double parked should have been allowed a ticket at most. The vehicle was targeted as a nuisance because it was ugly, I admit that, and purposed to place a homeless female in when she paid me for it. I was getting in the bathtub and a police officer shut off the power, banging at the front door to open up because someone called about squatters. And by the way, that's what CPS said about us. The, uh, you know what, I'll go into it later. The things they did. Um, so a police officer shut off our power and started banging out the front door because somebody called about squatters. I then called 911 and dispatch refused to give me the officer's name. He left before I can show him my ID through the window. I refused refused to open that door there was absolutely no way and he even threatened standoff I said I'll show I took that's why I called 911 I said I'll show him through the window my ID and when I got back with it he was gone and I still don't know who to this day who that was so the very next day I filed a declaration of residency and attempted to have it served I paid 150 bucks to do so to the sheriff and police department so they could understand we're not squatters and it's none of their business. And after that, water bill was late. No notice, no warrant, no report made and red tag stapled to my home. So they pretty much no warrant busted down the door again because of late water bill and red tagged my home without notice, without warning, without warrant. Okay, they threatened to shoot the dog. And they pointed guns at us. And so the very next day I went to talk to a code enforcement manager to figure out why they would be so aggressive without notice. It's just not civil. And he was even surprised to hear about that. The t they broke my front window. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. And then the garage door was opened mysteriously. The police logs showed a dog escaped from a garage, but no one was home to obtain this loose animal. Both residents were home. We were home. Animal control picked up the dog. The address was reported incorrectly on the report on the logs. So I called animal control and they ended up giving her back for free because they know what they did. Yeah, they probably, or somebody, opened the, do the garage door and let the dog out. Why do they want my dog gone? Because she is a hurdle to breaking in again. Why do they want in our house? I don't know. So I had some friends who had just bought an RV and on the side of my house there's no parking signs. And well, the minute they pulled up with their new RV on the side of my house and I was helping them look at how to put some shades up, a police officer showed up and started lecturing us for being there. And nobody's ever been harassed there but me or my friends on the side of our house. Mind you, people long story other people parked there for days and nobody ever gets talked to um, a hot, the Hyundai that we own we had there for about five minutes and we caught them about to ticket it uh, other facts pit mix was a reference used by the court CWS uh, child welfare services investigator that fraudulently seized my child from her father that was also connected to the female officer she the female officer the night of the home invasion that refused to investigate the 
the noise in the bushes also made that reference. Pit mix. Which is a term I've never heard. And then I just ate. I, Desiree, can only speak for myself but have no ill intent with this notice. I pray working solutions can be Im implemented based on these facts. Remember, social bias is natural but unintelligent and can be controlled with proper tra training. Let me say that again. Remember, social bias is, is natural but unintelligent and can be controlled with proper training. I'm sorry, Mr. Bracera and Newsom have not provided good leadership to our enforcement. Truthfully, because of these incidents and more, I do not feel safe in my own home to even seriously entertain the return of my kids. And that's truth. So let me just say why did I do this? Because I do plan to have my kids home. But... We all know that the minute I get that, they're going to do the same thing. And then this time they will be home and they'll traumatize them. Yeah, this is hard to talk about. Maybe that's why they've gotten away with this. So none of us want to talk about this. Think about it. This is real. I'm sorry I was ignorant to think that the world didn't know. But it is happening. All right. Hopefully there's a scene. This is a true status of California.